uh, it just signed me out again, so I'm not even doing it. I'm playing offline. Why the fuck? Yeah, I've played games when I was offline before, but I've realized that uh, it glitches out your status and stuff. Like, for instance, on the new Batman, when the server was down, if you played on the leaderboards with AR challenges as the, the leaderboard was down, you'll get your rival points, but it won't go on your leaderboard. It won't even count. Oh, uh, that's weird. Like on your screen, it'll count, but for everybody else online, they won't see it. So, like for instance, I did 53 seconds on this one race that you're supposed to do a minute, and uh, it showed my original time of 57 seconds. Ooh. So it, it, it tells me that I have three rival points for that race, but to everybody else, it tells them I only have one. Yeah. So I, a buddy of mine who's a huge Batman fan and bought the game with me. He's all talking shit. He's like. Oh, come on, man. You can do better than 50 second seconds. I'm like, bro, fuck you. I beat your score. You did 55. I did 53. He's like, nah, I don't know, man. It says it right here. <laughs> Reloading. <laughs> so I take screenshots and I send it to him. You know, so he doesn't know I'm just talking out my ass. Yeah, and then what does he say then? He's like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Better leaderboard or score. There we go. Yeah, oh my Jiminy, I'm keeping these zombies out. Yeah. Bay. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I thought I could break it by sliding into it. Man, it takes the fun out of it. Yeah, no, screw away. Oh my god, this is a full of them. Jeez, I thought there was like one or two left. Kill him! Oh my god! They're everywhere! Ow! Oh, and they don't get stunned anymore if I knife them. Take this guy, he's a loner. Ow! I feel like they're right behind me. Multiplier! Ooh, yep, ah, they're right behind me. And everything, man. There we go, that cuts him down. Ooh, God, don't, don't gotta get stuck on that door, that, that will be... Ooh, I had to get that before multiplier was up and it's up son of a ding dong yeah yeah oh yeah the box the boxing on it I don't know if I'm gonna be able to resell it oh it's still in the box yeah it's a dick in the box Yeah. 
everybody has that point in their life, you know. But anyway, I mean, I have a Pikachu tattoo constantly leaving me this tattoo now, obviously. I don't care. I'm getting a, a full sleeve, but... <laughs> Anyways, I came to the point in my life where I wanted to start collecting something, like officially. And uh, uh, the only thing that, you know, I don't want to collect marbles or stamps or anything. The only thing that I can find myself sparking an interest to is Pokemon. So, I bought this nice little book and I organized my cards and in my book, basically, you know how they all have an OT and Dex number? What I want to do is have like, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Ivysaur, Charmander, Charizard, you know, Squirtle, Blastoise, like, I want to have my book be number one to number 150. So, like, for instance, there's a lot of silly ones I'm missing, like, Riding Case. <laughs> and I look him up on Amazon, and he's like a dollar twenty-five. You know, just stupid oh. stuff that I probably used to have, but didn't realize. Or, or I have Parasect, but I'm missing Paris, which is like a 49 cent card, you know, so I've been buying little cards here and there off Amazon so that I can uh, complete my book. So my friend, back in the middle, we are, uh, they bought me, uh, um, a tin, who we call it a little X, you know, in the tin. Up another pack and I find another Lucario like that. Oh, that was pretty rare. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I was actually finding two of those in one. Yeah, yeah. in the same tin. Yeah. Like where they mm -hmm. both hollow and everything, so you got lucky. Uh -huh. Sweet. Oh, yeah, this is distracting. Yeah, I've got some new cards as well, don't get me wrong, it's just yeah. the ones I grew up with are the ones that really feel that empty space in your heart. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I have a, a Blastoise and Venusaur. I bought a couple of those tins. That's it. Oh, God. What's the date on them? It had to have been last year. I got them right here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. 2014. I more. So. And they're like the EX Blastoise and Venusaur. So I look up Charizard EX. You know, I just want to have the full set. At least the three yeah. EX cards. He's only about five, six bucks. He's not too bad. He's a whole lot better than that original Charizard at five or forty bucks. So good. <laughs> huh. Yeah, original yeah, Charizard. Find a switch. You know, mine. The one that I have is non-first edition, but it's not base set too, so it's still worth something because it's base set, but it's not. First edition. The first edition ones go for like a thousand dollars. It's insane. I know. Especially when you get a graded. But you know, I I don't do it. I don't do it to resell. I do it to. Isn't it true? Like, if I am gonna resell, I'm gonna wait until I'm 55. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no. Isn't it true that, like, Mario Kart 64 is like, Oh, I have Mario Kart 64. I know, right? I think. I got, like, the 007, Pokemon Snap, Pokemon Stadium. I got all the Donkey Kongs and Smash Bros. And you got Conker's Bad Fur Day. You ever play that on the 64? Oh, my God. It's such a good game. Oh, I know. I know. And, and you look that game up on Amazon and they go for $86. I'm like, holy shit, I remember that was $24.99. <laughs> yeah, my favorite mode on that game is when you're the weasels and you do the little bank heist and you gotta take the little bags back to your base. Me and my buddy is always having a lot of fun with that. Same with the Super Nintendo games, man. I got a Super Nintendo with a shit ton of Mario games and all the Donkey Kong games and like Street Fighter and Star Fuck. Fox and all that shit. And I I used to have Turtles in Time, and I don't know if it's just popular nowadays because Ninja Turtles or what, but Turtles in Time. You like shit on me! Bucks. It's insane. There we go. Gosh. 
Only a hundred? Yeah, the reason I bought the 6-4 and the Pokemon stuff, though, is because they have the transfer packs on the back of the controllers, and then you can put your Game Boy Color game into the controller, and you can play, like, Pokemon Yellow, Red, and Blue on the big screen. And that's just phenomenal to me, because I played on a little purple Game Boy sitting next to the window with the sunlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember those big goofy cords that they had when you'd have to trade people or when you'd have a little money on it? Yes. Oh man, I was I was bowing to the Game Boy SP. I was praising the SP. They finally allow us to charge. One thing that pissed me off about the original Game Boy is that you'd sit there for three hours playing and the only way they tell you that your batteries are dying is that you get right red light to a dim red yep. light. Shit, well, after four hours of playing, like I'm not staring at that red oh light, you know? <laughs> and when you're yeah. playing in the dark, yeah. it's pretty He's damn bright on its own, so... There were a lot yeah. of times I'd get halfway through the game and then... You know, mm. want to throw my machine. <laughs> out there I'm like fuck dude why can't they make a Pokemon game like GTA you know like a free round how, how, how come I can't create a Pokemon trainer how come I can't be first or third person and just walk around if you're in the city you'll find city Pokemon if you're in the woods you'll find jungle Pokemon if you're in the fucking sea fishing you know like uh -huh. This overhead view is nice, it's a fun gameplay, but I've been playing that for about 15 years now. I'm ready for, for a new millennium Pokemon. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Just like a first person free roam. Like, they make Minecraft Pokemon, like why can't we make that just more HD? Yeah. I'd fucking buy it, I'd buy two or three copies. Having over 700 characters nowadays, you're telling me they couldn't make it a worthy game? <laughs> them being yeah, assholes uh, or something you guys are seeing those pokemon youtube videos where they're like what do they eat like they're only eating soup and tofu what the fuck do they eat do they catch a toros and cut it up like a cow and make beef burgers or what <laughs> you know i mean even in the pokedex it says that far fetch the reason they're so rare is because people cook them and they're such yeah. a delicious stuff you know? <laughs>